it up. I got these bezels here at the top, and it sits in, so I have to, I have to start from the bottom. So
dog upset. He's not used to construction going on in his, in his house. Everything's needed. I got another video of him named Tank. He mixed your <clears throat> of uh Walking Coon Hound and Pit. Very curious of everything. And he's real he gets separation anxiety really easy. Uh, things are hard to go anywhere without him. All right, now I'm going to clean up the other one. All right, let's start it. Sometimes it's too easy to be like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> Tear stuff up. That's the easy part. But you gotta be careful when you're reusing the stuff. <clears throat> Beveled the same way. <clears throat> so, this way. He ain't having it. This is not familiar to him. <clears throat>
Okay. Now it looks like I'm gonna take the glue off the bottom. About half inch. It'll fit in there real nicely. Okay, here we go. See, it's going to be Thank you. Yeah. I bought it a while back. I just never used it. Never had to. <laughs> yeah. So, just put the plate on it. It's time for the shims. Stay in place. Hmm. Lazy man's way. They already have them there. I make a little more money. I don't care. Okay, you got the top shims in there.
right there. better that way with the door shut already. Okay. Practice makes perfect. These drills work a lot better when you play them in. Let's see if this guy's going These are T25 screws. I was told they work better. Yeah, the box that I got it got yeah. deck plus lifetime guarantee wood fence. It uh, came with a free bit.
wee bit. Of course, that's backwards. Camera. <laughs> anyway, you can read it. Oh, Let's put this free bit in here. Let's see what we get. Not rocket science, folks. But we live and learn. Oh. Here's the second door. I'm trying to bust this thing without cutting myself. Lovely. Okay. Let me get the other door in there.
Yep, it don't matter. Send that little thingy view. Mark. Um, I don't know. I probably don't have to do this, but I like to see.
Okay, I got to drill some holes now. I had a little rough at time with this one. Wow. That's a different method. Like I say, you live and learn. Yeah, there's definitely a method to the madness. Uh, this one's in place. That's where it's going to be, so... Try this method, see if it works. Let's go ahead and screw the screw this one in. Alright, keep lifting things in, but I can always take them back out. See where it's hitting. All right. Now, that's flush against that side, I don't see on this side. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, I gotta take just a little bit more off the side, but
That's okay. That's a little trick here. It ain't exactly right. You might have to cut some off the bottom. Then it won't. It won't sit. So uh, we gotta take it back off. That's a Okay.
these T25 screws there. Makes it a lot more simple to hang it and tear it back down. All right, now I'll just skip the head. Doors are hung. It's done. Um, it's quite the experience. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes when you get these, you have to make some adjustments. I mean, well, not sometimes, all times. <laughs> so that's where the experience comes in and and you realize there's more than one way to skin a cat that's what they say anyway as the old saying goes so hope you liked the video take care i'm gonna be in the process of replacing the doors in this opening both doors 
and I got the doors already and they're right here so that's it I'm gonna try to make them look nice and neat and it's kind of cool we got everything there all I have to do is uh, shim it up and <clears throat> hang them in place so there you go that's what it looked like and I've already started here got some of the trim off and so I got to take all of this out of there and then take the full frame out and then uh, put the new frame in with the door that already come with the hinges so it made it easier I don't want to take all day on it so that's what we're going to do okay these are the tools I'm using to do the job of course 20 inch ha uh, hammer uh, claw hammer straight claw and the super bar number nine plies pliers and then uh or linesman pliers and then uh, <clears throat> these are the handles or the hardware that's going in and like i said the hinges are already on and i got a drill and i'll use a bit to tap holes into the new and uh, these are the size of screws that's going in there. Two and a half inch screws, white. So it's going to match the trim. And this is what I'll shim it with if I need to. Uh, looking at what was there already, don't look like they shimmed at all. We'll see. You have to discover things, I guess. These are the original nails on the trim work. I'm just going to cut those off. They're so skinny, and unusable. So I'll just uh, do that. We'll put new nails 